everybody and welcome to Early Acres. I'm Teresa. If you are new to our channel, we to give you a big welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, thanks so much for coming by. Today's video is going to be a fun one. This is probably two of my favorite DIYs I've ever done. So I hope y'all get some inspiration from it. And as always, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. And don't forget, please subscribe to our channel. We're about to hit 10,000 subscribers, y'all. So anyway, y'all, let's get on with the video. Okay, the first project is going to be this galvanized metal windmill. I purchased this last summer at Dollar General for $8. I love galvanized metal, but sometimes it will kind of blend in with your decor. So I painted it first just to see how that would brighten it up. And it did brighten it up. But I decided I wanted to add a little bit more to it. So I printed out some graphics from the Graphics Fairy website. And I'm going to decoupage the blades. So I'm just going to unscrew the windmill and take the pole off the back. And then I'm going to lay the windmill down on top of the graphic and use that blade as my pattern. And I'm going to trace around it a little bit larger than my blade so I'll have enough to overlap on the side so none of my blade shows. And I also wanted to point out when I went out to Graphics Fairy, I searched on vintage handwritten letters. So if you want to try to find this graphic, that's what I searched on it, and they have a huge selection. So I just cut out my pattern for a blade and then I'm going to use it to cut out seven more. So now that we got the windmill decoupage, then we'll work on the center. You can put the original center back in, you know, painted, or you could also decoupage it. I'm going to go with some of my Totally Dazzled Bling. And if you're not familiar with Totally Dazzled, I'm going to leave an affiliate link to their website down below in the description box so you can go out and shop their website.
Okay, before we go to the next project, I just want to take the opportunity to ask y'all to go out and join me on Facebook at Our Green Acres Home Decor and DIY Inspirations. And I also want to give a big shout out to Deidre, Janice, Welcome to Nancy, Norma, and Michelle. Okay, project number two is going to be this cutting board. And I got this at a yard sale back um, the first of the year, and I think I paid a dollar for it. And like I say, it was been in my supplies. I didn't know what to do with it. So I finally decided to get it out and get creative with it. So here I'm mixing up some stain. Um, I just took some brown paint, craft paint, and add a little water to it. And I'm just making a dark brown stain so I'll have a good base for when I distress it. Okay, after the stain is dried, I'm going to take the candle wax. I love this method, y'all. If you, you just rub the candle wax all over the wood, and especially in the places that you want to have the most distressing. And um, this technique, y'all will see me use this a lot in future projects, and I wish I'd have known about this years ago because <laughs> it really cuts down on the muscle that you have to put into to sanding something with a piece of sandpaper because it makes the paint just lift off. But anyway, now I'm going over with some, I think this chiffon cream chalk paint, and I painted the front and the back, and I think I gave it a couple of coats. And you can see right here, I just get like a little pl plastic scraper, and I just go around and it just scrapes right off you know and this doesn't make a huge mess like you know sandpaper you've got all the dust in the air and it gets your hands all dry you don't have all that with this and it just lifts right off this took me to distress this little piece just maybe a couple of minutes and it does it gives it that real chippy look if that's what you're going for Okay, this graphic I ordered off of um, Etsy. I paid $2 and I think a few cents for it. But you basically, you purchase it on Etsy and then it is sent to you, um, your email. And then you can just download the image and you can print it as many times as you want to. You could also get a free printable off of Graphics Fairy if you prefer that. I just love this graphic right here though. It's a pink rose floral. And then I applied it with um, the Gorilla Spray Adhesive. And you can also Mod Podge. I took some scrap ribbon and I made like a little messy bow. I'm going to trim that up and then I'm going to add a little bit of color to it with the pinks and the greens to bring that out of the graphic and then I'm just going to add that to the cutting board for its embellishment.